Hello and welcome. If you popped a ukulele string and you're wondering whether you should just change the one you popped or all of them, we're going to answer that question right here. By the way, if you want to see more videos where I answer simple questions like this, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Okay, so the short answer is that this depends. Did you just get the ukulele and did you just pop the strings or did you just replace the strings and as you were tuning them, you popped it. Really the question here is, if your strings are brand new, then only replace the one that you popped. However, if you popped a string, usually it's string A for most people, if you popped a string and you've been playing the instrument for a month, two months, three months, then chances are the other ones are also weaker. It's just that they're probably a little thicker and they haven't popped yet. So the best practice is to just change them all. If your strings are brand new and you just popped a string, that means that maybe you were tuning either the wrong peg, like you were turning the wrong peg as you were tuning, or you tuned up way too quickly for the instrument. Usually a really good practice is if you have a new instrument and you brought it into your home and it was shipped from somewhere else, or if it was in a really, really cold store and now it's in your home that's really warm or vice versa, which would cause the pop, then let the instrument kind of settle into your new space in your new home and don't tune it right up to where it's supposed to be right away. Give it some time to settle. Some of you may be wondering if it's okay to put a low G string on your ukulele. And of course it is definitely okay. You just want to make sure that if you're ordering low G strings that you're getting the right set for the scale of your instrument. Scale meaning the length. And so if you're shopping for low G strings, make sure that it has the marking that it's okay for the size of your instrument. Also, some low Gs are a wider gauge. They're wider than what your nut allows. So also keep an eye on that because that can be a little bit problematic later on. Like you're trying to put G string and it won't fit in the nut of the instrument. If you have any other questions about strings or about the ukulele in general, please comment them down below. I love answering your questions, especially through video format because it's just a lot more fun to engage that way. And if this answered your question or if you have an experience to share with us, comment it down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!